Hi everyone, uh, this is Tony from Silverstone Technology, uh, URL CES in the 2019 suite. And at this show we're launching for the first time a Raven prototype case. So uh, it's been uh, quite a few years since we last had an ATX tower case with 90 degree uh, rotator multiple mounting. So we're bringing that back. And the reason we're doing that now is because you know, the modern, you know, nice enthusiast features such as temper glass, you know, vertical GP mount. People tend to want those type of feature for their really powerful system. So we decided that with the 90 degree layout that we have already from the previous Raven uh, cases, we can really utilize um, uh, some of the good benefits of good cooling as well as great aesthetics. So as, as you can see, the graphics kind of look great with no sagging in a 90 degree layout. But not only that, uh, with this Raven prototype, uh, we are thinking of adding maybe a transparent window on the front side so you can actually see your graphics card on both the side and also on, uh, on their fan side, the bottom side. So that would look really, really cool. And because um, modern enthusiast cases also don't have dr that many drive bays, we're able to utilize uh, the extra space on the back of the chassis uh, for you know, liquid cooling. So you can see we've drilled uh, quite a few uh, mounting holes there for those purposes. Okay. And can you tell us about the fans you have mounted down there? Okay, so those are the two uh, AP183, our latest generation of air penetrator fans. They look the same as the previous AP181, but they're, uh, they, they now have a much uh, improved internal IC, uh, IC to help them generate a greater speed range uh, while using less power. And we've, we've also added PWM and doable bearing to them. So they'll, they'll run really great in the new case. So do you think you'll be able to top your RVO2? Well, the RVO2 has three uh, air penetrator fans, so in terms of pure cooling power, the RVO2 may still have an advantage, but with these cramp cranked up, they, they'll get very close. Yeah. Great, and can you show us the LDO3 case? Okay. Uh, so here, LDO3. Uh, we've made uh, several improvements since the last showing of this case uh, back at Computex in prototype form. So this is what you'll see in the production, actual production version of the case of the LDO3. Uh, we've actually widened the case just a little bit more so that uh, there's a little, bit, a little bit more breathing room for the graphics card. We've also implemented a new mounting system for the top cover and side panels. So now uh, you can't just pull this top cover off easily. Uh, you have to actually press the two tabs on the back first before you can actually slide off this top cover. Uh, the front panel is easily removed just as before. So all you have to do is pull them out to remove it. Uh, we've implemented on the two side panel glass uh, these pop rivets. It's very easy to use, so all you have to do is pull lightly and it comes off just like that. And with them on, it's very secure. So there you can see the graphic how we added just a little bit of ventilation around with that extra space also over here on the back. And what's your thermal limitation with that glass panel in front of the GPU? Okay, so we finished all of our thermal testing in-house. With the tempered glass side panel, your maximum TDP, we recommend 200 watt or less graphics cards uh, with the open air style cooler. If you have a blower, uh, you can go up to 300 watt with the assistance of this fan bracket here, which can you can mount an 80 millimeter fan inside. Uh, for those of you that want to have the aesthetic and very powerful graphics card, you only option may be a liquid cool graphics card, or uh, we're thinking about launching maybe a separate version of the LDO3 that comes with this aluminum and mesh panel. So basically, with this panel on, there will be no limitation for graphics card cooling power. So it'll look like this. You can still see the GPU through it when, true. when the, it's lit up? Yeah, of course. So that'll be the high performance option. Yeah. And what would be the price points for the glass paneled and mesh paneled models? So with the full glass panel, uh, the LDO3 will likely retail around $120. Uh, 
uh, with the aluminum mesh panel. It will be around 150 uh, for that. So we were still considering whether or not we should release a second version of this case with this mesh panel or have the mesh panels for sale separately. Great, thank you.